We are at day nine. This is Redhead Goes Healthy. If you're new to my channel, I am currently on a 21 day mind, body, soul reset challenge. If you're interested in learning about that, please click the video above or just check out my daily goals that I have set out for myself every day. I wanna start off by saying I did not sleep well last night. I had weird dreams. I had nightmares. At one point I woke up because I heard the voice of a little child saying, hello. And I couldn't go, I just couldn't go back to sleep. So I think I've been watching the trailer for that new movie, Nope, that I'm probably not gonna ever see, but I think that has like prevented me from sleeping. So anyways, if I sound a little tired today, that's why. The one thing that I wanted to uh, say for this video is that I think I've decided, and I hope this isn't too disappointing for people who watch this, I've decided not to weigh myself every day. I feel like I just don't want to be beholden to the number on the scale that day. I kind of made this decision as I woke up this morning feeling kind of icky because of the lack of sleep. And I was just like, I don't want to weigh in every single day. I don't want that to be a part of my life anymore. And I don't want that to be a part of my life going forward. I really do think reading The Way of Integrity has really helped me as we'll talk about today. I think I'm realizing that I have this false belief that the scale or the number on the scale determines my value or worth for that day. And that can go either direction. Yesterday, I felt great because the number on the scale was something that I was really, really proud of. But I don't wanna be dependent upon that number. So I'm not going to weigh in every day. Instead, what I'm gonna do is weigh in once a week for you guys. So the next weigh in will be next Monday, I believe because that will be the full like two weeks. And so we'll have an accurate number. And uh, so stay tuned for that. So let's just jump right into it. Let's talk about my mind. We're continuing the way of integrity with Martha Beck. Okay, we're finally in the inferno. Remember, we're using Dante's Divine Comedy as a metaphor for life. So the inferno is a very dramatic depiction of what hell looks like. And because Martha Beck is using this as a metaphor, for her, hell is defined as a place of suffering. What she says is pretty interesting here. Our suffering actually comes from, for the most part, our thoughts. And those thoughts may not always be true. The biggest lie that I tell myself that is a thought that causes suffering is that the number on the scale, like I was saying earlier, makes me a person of more value and worth or less value and worth. I got that from society. I got that from growing up in a family where we were constantly on a diet, basically, like everybody in the family was overweight. And I think a lot of people can relate to this. You know, I was on my first diet when I was like 10 and we weighed in in front of family members. Oh, it was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. It was like traumatizing. But from an early age, I think I learned that that number on that scale determines your worth. And that's not true. Like we know, like you're watching this right now, you know that's not true. But it's still a thought that sometimes I think I think is true. She says this quote that really spoke to me related to this. She says, believing things that aren't true for us at the deepest level is the commonest way in which we lose our integrity. So when we find ourselves believing those false thoughts, we're actually like not in tune with who we are and we're not living the way of integrity and we're suffering for it. Now in the Inferno, Dante's teacher Virgil, he's facing all these demons in the Inferno and hell. And again, these are all you know metaphors for our lives. But Virgil tells Dante to do three things. Observe the demons, ask them questions, and move on. And that's what we have to do with our false beliefs and our thoughts that are causing us suffering and that are not aligned with our true natures at the deepest level of who we are. I highly recommend getting the book 
because she does provide these really, really helpful exercises that do require some time where you're actually being asked to examine what some of those false thoughts are. What are those beliefs that are actually holding you back from being a person of integrity? And ultimately being happy, being happy and content with who you are. Like we said yesterday, you are enough and so am I, no matter what that scale says. All right, so even though I was exhausted this morning, I still managed to get a pretty good Peloton workout in. So there's that. And of course, the five minutes of meditation, here is some nature. If you are also trying to meditate, I hope that it puts you in a space where you can sit with yourself, sit with your thoughts, and I will see you guys afterwards for the daily goals checklist.
this is for Monday. We are not doing that. Get out of here. No. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I read 10 pages. I closed that movement ring today with that workout. Remember, I did like a warm up ride, a workout, and a cool down ride. So it all really adds up. Um, so today I hit 800, which is awesome. Total burned is 2,500. Uh, one gallon of water, check. Today was a calorie cut day. And so I allowed myself because of just like what I did today with my exercise and not wanting to kind of hurt myself, I allowed myself to go up to 1200 today. So hopefully that is okay with my body. Uh, I meditated for five minutes and I filmed and uploaded this accountability video. Thank you all for watching and see you tomorrow for day 10.